How's it going guys? It's Victor with Workstat, BMW Only Automotive. I want to talk to you the most common failure on a 6HP transmissions. So there will be 6HP19, 6HP21, 6HP26 and 6HP30. The 6HP19 and 21 you're normally going to see on the 6 cylinder engines, 5 series, 2006 to like 2011. Then uh, 6, uh, it could be either 528, 530, 535. 6HP26 you're going to see on the V8 engines which is going to be either 550, 650, 750, really common. Uh, less common, you're going to see 6HP30s. They would be X5M, X6M on the bigger guys. You're commonly going to see a fold code for the clutch E. You can look at the clutch E adaptation numbers. You're going to see the adaptation. So on the 6HP26 is going to go above 750. So this discoloration right here is from excessive temperature. And you can see the burnt clutches on it. The friction plates. All right, this is not the worst we've seen, but if you were to compare to the brand new clutches, it's a typical color would be on the clutches. And an excess temperature right over here, you can see it's burned all the way through. The common issue on the drum itself, you're gonna see the wear, and I don't know if you can tell, but this sharp edge right over here, it shouldn't be there and it's caused also so this portion would be in contact with this bushing right over here so from a pressure loss oil pressure losses you're going to see excess wear inside the bushing itself causing the excess wear on the drum so ideally you want to replace this drum right here and the bushing itself but I want to show you where the actual problem starts before you get to this point. So before you burn the clutches and before you start getting the clutch heat fold coats in there, you want to make sure you do the transmission service because all the problem starts with the valve body, the solenoid pack, pistons, and the separating plate. And I'll show you how it works. So the solenoid kit, it's actually going to distribute the pressure from a main oil pump. And it's crucial for each solenoid to actually deliver a proper amount of pressure. So the oil pressure is going to go through the solenoid, through the pressure dump ring. You can see how unevenly they were because they use rubber material. And you can see how one of them is actually worn out. The other one is supposed to dump her. The Sonax kit actually makes the pistons with the metal springs. So obviously you already know the metal spring is not going to wear out like the rubber pieces right there. This is a new setup already installed. Before we replace this one, you would see the pistons, like one of them would be always sunk in, and that one sticking out a little bit more. They're supposed to dump the pressure. If your piston is all the way in, obviously it's a pressure loss, constant pressure loss. And if that happens with a pressure loss, that's when you start getting the clutch fold codes, clutch A, clutch E, burnt clutches. So I highly recommend about 80,000 miles to do a full transmission service with a special BMW shop. Uh, dealership doesn't offer this type of service. We actually do the training with ZF and ZF in Germany. They actually do this type of services in Germany. So you want to start with replacing, obviously, all the solenoids. You want to make sure you're getting a Sonax kit to replace the piston pressure dump rings. You want to make sure you get to get a new valve body plate that goes on the valve body itself. And besides that, obviously, the new transmission pan, the adapter sleeve that goes in the back for the plug itself and adapter gasket that goes in between valve body and transmission. I really don't recommend doing it yourself because at the very beginning, we've tried and we failed several times. If you misplace one of these little guys right there, if you see a tiny little balls in there, the pistons, the springs, if you misplace at least one of them or you lose it or it drops out and you put it in the wrong direction, the wrong place, the transmission is not going to go anywhere. It's going to be completely useless. So you want to make sure you let somebody specialized do that. If you didn't do a transmission service on time, you already got the clutch E adaptation fold codes or clutch A. You're going to have to replace the clutch pack. You want to make sure to check on the friction and the fl friction plates themselves. If the metal itself is damaged, you want to order that because we sell it separately as well. You can get the actual frictions. You can get the whole kit. You do want to replace the bushings, okay? This is what it's called bushing. There's a whole kit of the bushings. 
All right. So this is a bushing. That's this is where it's going to go. This one for specifically. So you're going to have to remove the bushing in there, install it. It's not easy job to do. The fact is, if you don't do that, if you just replace the clutches, the car is going to run. You're probably not going to have fault codes for a year, maybe a little bit longer sometime, and the whole problem is going to reoccur. The whole thing is going to come back. And the reason why? Because you're losing pressure from the bushings. You're losing pressure from the drum itself, and it's probably going to be a temporary fix. So if you don't replace those bushings, you're going to keep doing it over and over. Hopefully it's going to last you a year or longer. So make sure whoever is doing your transmission rebuild can get the bushings replaced at the same time. You want to make sure you replace the seals, the proper seals on the oil pump because they commonly leak on the front seal, the oil pump seal. The crucial part is to replace the pan itself. Number one, they commonly crack and creating a leak. Number two, it has an integrated filter building in it. So you, you never use the same pen. You want to make sure you always use the same pen. If you're not sure if it's being replaced, commonly you're going to see a production date in, a, in the pen itself. You have to remove and see if it's been replaced before. But it doesn't really matter. If you're doing the transmission service, even if the pen is like six months old, you don't want to reuse it. Just make sure you use a new pen. We often see people do the pen replacement. They replace the solenoids. They do adapter sleeve, a fresh fluid. And the car is running better, but the fact is, if you do not get to the valve body itself, it's pretty much a heart of a problem. If you never touch these guys, and you can see how much of a difference of the rubber itself, the worn out rubber inside of it, it's supposed to dump the pressure. It's gonna be a short period of time that you're gonna experience the same symptoms all over again. And transmission is gonna last you another year or two, and it's gonna fail again, so if you do the service, Make sure you find the shop that's going to be able to properly do the valve body service at the same time. Or if you're doing the service yourself, find the company where you can remove valve body, ship it somewhere to get it rebuilt, bring the valve body back, and then continue the rest of the service for yourself. Another part of it is going to be TCM. TCM stands for Transmission Control Module. If you have fault codes for the parking or the vehicle is not engaging in parking, it's often on the 7 Series where you try to park the vehicle, it's always stays in the neutral. The problem is going to be TCM itself. It's really difficult to replace it. It's got a VIN number of building in it. Uh, you might find some companies that actually rebuild them. They're more of a temporary solution. If you have to purchase a whole valve body, it comes with a TCM. The whole valve body with a TCM from a dealership will cost you almost $3,000. So you want to consider if you're going to do that route or just get a used transmission. Certain transmissions on certain models, you have ISN, which is individual serial number. Just installing a transmission, the used transmission in the car, the vehicle is not going to drive anywhere. So you want to make sure before you install the transmission, you know what you're dealing with. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to follow us. If you have any suggestions, let us know we can make more videos. Make sure to follow us on works.bmw. And if you have any questions, you can directly message us and I'll help you out. If you have certain full codes, you can't figure it out, just let us know and we go from there.